One of the most exciting experiences of my life was getting this job. I knew this was going to be the hardest and the best experience of my life. And it all came true. What drew me to the show was the first three scripts of The Last of Us and was immediately uh, blown away. When you're adapting something that is an active participation form of art, like a video game, into a passive participation form of art, like watching television, you have to make quite a few changes. And casting these iconic characters. It's like doubly difficult of a job. You need to find someone that can make it their own in a really interesting way so it doesn't feel like they're just duplicating this other medium. It was such a unique experience playing this character because truthfully, so much is based on the original source material. Troy Baker's performance, his movements, his sounds, and discover what I can bring to it. And ultimately realize is a presence that Joel has, which is specifically physical. The essence to that presence is something that is very shattered and vulnerable and afraid. How did it even start? If you have to get bit to be infected, then who bit the first person? Choosing Ellie was the scariest part of this, I think, until we saw Bella's audition. There is no actual Ellie. Ellie is a combination of Ashley Johnson's amazing performance. Ashley Johnson is an adult. And the Ellie we see, of course, is animated. It's a creation on a computer. So you're asking a human being now to be both things at the same time when there never was both things at the same time. When you see somebody that possesses the soul and spirit of a character, then you might have something. But possessing the soul and spirit of a character also needs to be combined with talent and determination and humor. And we found the perfect actor. I think one of my favorite things about the show is it's so dark, but also there's so much humor. There's so many light moments and like beautiful moments. And I think the lightness and the humor amplifies the darkness and the emotion of it even more. Long way or short way? I mean, it's the long way or the whip dead way. Well, I have a long way is based on that limited information. Tess was a character that we did quite a bit of expansion on and there's quite a few differences. Anna Torv is one of the best scene partners I've ever had. Tess is a smuggler and she's Joel's partner. They've been working together for some time. They have kind of a, a pretty close, you know, unspoken relationship, both a working one and also a personal one. And she really is kind of the boss out of the two of us. Together as a duo, we, we find, you know, our best ways to survive in this world. Not infected. Are you armed? It's just such an incredible gift as an actor to just get a job. I mean, it's like winning the lottery to just get paid. If you're lucky enough to come into writing like this writing, it's so few and far between. It's such a rare occasion. I've been a fan of Nick for a long time. He sort of exceeds the expectations of what I um, thought Bill would be in a, in a way. Like he's just, he falls into the Bill kind of mold so well. We will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. Well, I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. You what? Murray was such a wonderful scene partner and just what a sweet guy. I couldn't have concocted uh, uh, a better person in a fantasy than that Australian gentleman. Murray and Nick formed this perfect relationship. 
As actors, it's astonishing. It's the same thing with the entire cast. You have hopes, then you have high hopes, and then you have these ridiculously high hopes. And we got rewarded time and time again. <laughs>